Starting with the stand throws, we go right into the double pivot. Notice that the chest, the knee, and the foot are directly over each other. The heel and the toe are staggered, so the right heel and the left toe are in one line. We have the line here to show you that, you know, where exactly his feet are supposed to be. Maximum backswing, and you want to make sure that both feet pivot up onto the toes, and as the distance comes out, that left heel doesn't hit. You'll notice that he'll try to get his chest and his left arm directly over that, that knee and that on the inside of the right foot. As he goes through the throw, he rotates, double pivots up, and you, you notice that that left heel stays off the ground and the hips generate up. You really want to see that those legs extend violently into the hip and that the throw comes after the hip extends to the sector and upward. Notice how balanced over his right leg he is and on the inside of the right foot. He comes up, inside of the right foot, onto the left toe, really demonstrating up onto it and then the throw. Andrew will take a throw now and you'll just notice the extension of the leg snapping into the hip and then the throw coming out. Really notice how over the right leg that he is. And then up. Really nice extension. Now Andrew is technically a non-reverse thrower. So he buries that left heel a little bit more into his throw. But if you're a reverse thrower like most of you are, I had him demonstrate up onto both toes so you could really understand. If you're a non-reverser at the end, a little bit more of a European technique, you'll see the left heel drop and then the hip into the throw. But for Andrew, just for the drill purposes, we showed you up onto both toes, making sure that left heel doesn't hip, this is stand throw with a double pivot.